So this week we have another pretty simple quick flip dresser. These projects are great for beginners or even for more advanced people who just need a break between intricate projects. So many of our projects take longer than a week to do, so we needed something quicker than a week just to stay caught up and keep the videos coming. And we love doing these dressers. It's nice to kind of have that mental break between the really detailed pieces. I don't know, those drawers look like they're a little broken. I think they all need a little bit of repair. So we're gonna try to keep this flip pretty simple. We're really just gonna paint the outside green because there's a lot of marks, a lot of dents, a lot of scuffing. So we're gonna paint the body, but the drawers are really beautiful. So keep the drawers and so let's see if we can make this baby shine. All right. <laughs> Planning is actually a pretty fun process. You know, it's just really cool to get rid of all the cobwebs, all the dust, and check out that dresser up close and personal. This is where we get to find all its flaws and all of its beauty. And you know, it, it really seems like these pieces, once they're clean, you can imagine them in someone's home. Like they're decent pieces all cleaned up, but we know we can make them even better. So our process always starts out with a great degreaser. Today we're using LA's totally awesome concentrated cleaner. We got it from the Dollar Tree, so it's very inexpensive and it, d it dilutes down with water. And we always take time to rinse it really well afterwards. Yeah, you don't want any soap residue before you start sanding. But Danny, why are you using a toothbrush? <laughs> Great question, Mama. Because those top drawers have a cane, and we're going to keep them this way. We're not going to touch them, but there's a lot of dust in between all those little crevices. So we're just trying to clean them out really well. Pops, is that your toothbrush? Sending time, and it's time to ride the wave with that surf prep. <laughs> We're just gonna scuff sand everything, but I like to always get to the raw wood first to see what that wood looks like. Unfortunately, after testing it out, none of this wood is gonna be salvageable. It's a very lightweight, soft pine that is just dinged to high heavens. So we're just gonna scuff sand it and paint it. Let's get a move on this baby. On these curved edges, we do have a surf prep and this is a great place to use it. The, the great thing about this little machine is that it has these sponge sanding pads and it just really gets down into all the grooves and around those curves very nicely. And if you're not able to invest in a surf prep sander right now, we did recently discover that Amazon and hardware stores do have these sponge interface surfaces that allow you to have some squish on the projects you're sanding, which is incredible. It's a great alternative if you're not able to jump on board with surf prep yet. Yes.
As beautiful as that raw wood looks on video, I promise in person it was not pretty. So I ditched the idea of having this be a full wood top and we're gonna paint this too. So I'm back to scuff sanding just with a 180 and that white dust you see is just leftover residue from the finish that we're sanding off right now. And if you skip that sanding step, that residue is still gonna be under there gunking up your new paint. So we've got to get all that off so it's ready. You guys, thank you so much for being here with us. We are just a tiny little business that we started that allows me to stay at home with my family rather than having to be gone all work all day, commuting back and forth. We have three adopted teenagers at home and being home means that I get to be there for them. And I know as teenagers, they don't need me as much on a day to day basis because they're becoming more independent. But man, when they need to talk to me, it's so nice to be there for them. I'm sure many of you moms have struggled with work life balance, raising kids. So I just from the bottom of my heart want to thank you for supporting us by subscribing, liking these videos, leaving comments. And if any of you have any tips you'd like sharing on work-life balance, comment below. I would love some helpful tips on how to raise my sweet teens while still being a productive mama who gets some work done. And with your support, we get to keep making these videos and building community with you guys. You are so appreciated. Thanks for being part of our Ohana. Danny, what is going on? Are you going lefty Lucy or righty tidy? I'm going the right way. It's just stuck for some reason. You see, the other one came off easily. Time to call <laughs> in the big guns. This dresser is covered in dents and dings, so we've got to fill these all up. We're trying a lightweight spackle. We've seen other people have success with it, so we're going to give that a whirl, but we'll probably bust out the handy dandy tried and true wood filler as well. This spackle, it's really kind of cool. It reminds me of Cool Whip. Feels like cake frosting and I'm a little tempted to taste it. I'm not sure you guys. Danny calls this zit cream, but Pop said it looks like a whole flock of seagulls bombed the top of this. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think we'd get through this whole piece without Bondo, did you? Well, we were hoping we could, but there was a few edges where the veneer had pulled off or was missing chunks. Bondo to the rescue! I understand that this dresser was previously owned by a teenage boy. And you could tell because every single plastic glide on those drawers was broken. I know, I'm wondering if he like was trying to find things that had fallen in the back and just ripped them all off. I mean, it's the only explanation for why each of them was broken. <laughs> but nothing we can't handle and fix ourselves after purchasing lots of new plastic drawer glides. Now it's just one final sanding to get rid of this spackle, wood fill, and the Bondo. We used a 180 to get it to a nice, fine, smooth finish, and now we are ready for paint. Woohoo! Yes. 
we're lucky enough to have a sprayer for these projects now, but we hand painted things for months and months and months before we got a great sprayer. So don't think that if you're a beginner, you can't do this because you don't have a sprayer. Just get a brush and brush it on or a roller, whatever you prefer. So why do we choose green for this color, Danny? Well, do you want my real answer or my silly answer? <laughs> <laughs> the real answer is that I've always called this piece Tropicana ever since we picked it up because it has such a tropical flair. What color is more representative of tropical than beautiful lush green? Yes, well, I, I like green because it reminds me that we're saving this piece from the landfill. That's true, we're going green and we're gonna make some green. Woo woo! <laughs> Another rookie mistake. Do you see those white spots? Where we went back to raw wood, we should have primed those spots before we started painting. Even though the paint we're using does have a primer added to it, that raw wood just soaked in all the paint. And you ran to the hardware store to go find the shellac-based clear primer. But unfortunately, our ace didn't have it, so you just found what you could, which is this rust-preventing gray primer from Ace. But it'll get the job done. Yeah, it worked. To keep that perfectly smooth finish, you always want to sand between your coats of paint. So with the surf prep, we're using the super fine grit. But if we're sanding by hand, we usually use a 400 or a 600. For watching today guys we hope you learned something and feel inspired to do your own dresser flip aloha, aloha.